In the latest patch in Overwatch at 1st of September, they introduced Season 2 Ranked and a new map called Cobblestone? Or however you pronounce this name. The changes for Soldier 76 was that his rifle has a bullet spread which happens more quickly when spraying, but increased bullet recovery time instead, which resulted in a nerf for spraying and a buff for bursting and single fire shooting. This update is very similar to CSGO update one month ago, where they did some changes to the main rifles in the same way. So I thought to myself, why not make a macro for Overwatch as well? For testing this, I used the Rage of Synapses macro feature on my mouse, with different delays between shots and bursts. I started a game in the training area, where I lined up at this corner and shot 25 bullets into the target dummy at a distance. I did this to make sure that every bullet was fired accurate and to measure how fast I shot. In the testing, I used different delays between each shot or burst to see if it made any difference in accuracy and fire rate. The goal for me was to find the most effective way to shoot with Soldier 76 that could potentially give you an advantage while burst or tap shooting. So here are the results for tap shooting. As you can see in this graph, the best delay to have on your macro is a delay between 50 and 150 milliseconds between clicks. So here is a comparison between normal shooting and tap shooting with 75 millisecond delay. As you can see while you are tap shooting you are 100% accurate but your fire rate is decreased by 50%. For burst firing I've made 3 different macros with different delays and they had to be 100% accurate to be approved in this test. Here are the results. The 3 macros have very similar fire rate even though they have different delays. The first one has a slightly faster fire rate compared to the other two. Here you can also see the delays of the burst fire macros. So, which macro should you use? Tap shooting or a burst fire macro? Well, it depends on what you prefer. But the burst fire macro shoots about 10% faster compared to the tap shooting one, which theoretically will give you a faster time to kill. I do also not recommend using these macros for short range since it will decrease your time to kill, but the macros can be very useful at longer ranges where you want to shoot more accurate than faster. If you don't want the burst fire macro with auto looping, you can remove the delay at the end and play it once when you click. Something worth noting is that there is a limit on how fast the server can interpret my clicks, which is determined by the tick rate of the server, and in this case is 60 Hz, which translates to about 17 milliseconds. Some of the problem with my testing is that there will be a miscalculation with up to 50 milliseconds. This is due to me counting the time in frames and how the frame rate can interfere with the fire rate which means that with a higher FPS you will get more consistent results. The conclusion. If you are able to give up 50-40% to of your fire rate while burst and tap firing to gain 100% accuracy compared to normal shooting, then this macro could be very useful for you. If you want to use the macros in the video, there is a link in the description to all the macros in text format. If you have a Razer mouse or keyboard, you can use Razer Synapse to import them directly to your mouse or keyboard. And then the download link will be in the description. Note, the download files can only be used with a Razer mouse or keyboard. So here comes the million dollar question. Can you get banned? Well, Blizzard has no way of detecting if you're using a macro or just pressing buttons on your keyboard. And since you're using a gaming third party software to create these macros, that means that Blizzard can't ban you, but people that consider this cheating can still report you after they have watched the kill cam, but it will be very difficult to prove that you're using a macro. So here comes my opinion. Should you get banned? Well, if Blizzard are considering macros in games as cheats, then they need to restrict it so you can't use it or have no advantage of using it, because players will always find a way to gain an advantage. Therefore, I do not believe that you should get banned for using a macro, but that it is the developer's responsibility to fix or restrict the game in such a way that you can't gain an advantage of using a macro. Please keep in mind that this is just my opinion, 
And that's all for now, and don't forget to have fun!